All right, welcome back to the quick key for increasing your faith throughout the day. Today is quick key number two, and our passage of scripture comes from Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I'm going to say that one more time. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So let me start off by saying that today you should have already woken up and implemented yesterday's quick key number one, which was to ask God every day to increase your faith. Jesus said, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. So I encouraged you yesterday to grab a piece of paper and write on it with a black Sharpie, pray for faith today. And then tape that piece of paper to your bathroom mirror so that the first thing you see every day when you wake up is a reminder to pray for more faith. So if you haven't done that yet today, you should pause this video and just take a brief moment and ask Jesus to increase your faith. Now, today's key, key number two, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God is an incredible insight when it comes to growing your faith. In fact, this verse reminds me of the formula for instant pancakes where it says, just add water. It turns out that we can proactively grow our faith by just adding water. Only in the case of our faith, we're not adding water, we're adding the word of God. So what can we do to hear the word of God and thus have increased faith? And there's several answers to that question. We're going to be covering lots of ways to hear the Word of God during this 21-day retreat. But today I want to start with the simplest and easiest way to hear God's Word, and that is by simply reading the Bible. St. Peter said in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, Like newborn babies, long for the pure milk of the Word, so that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. Every single time... We crack open the pages of scripture and we read. We are feeding ourselves, our hearts, our mind, our soul, the very word of God. In Psalm 119.97, David said, Oh, how I love your law, your word, O Lord, all day long. It's my meditation. Joshua was told by Yahweh after the death of Moses, Yahweh said, Joshua, be careful to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. In other words, be careful to do according to all of the word of God that came through Moses. Yahweh said to Joshua, do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may have success wherever you go. And this book of the law, my word, shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on my word day and night, so that you will be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have success. The law of Moses was the word of God. It was the Bible for their day. In fact, it was so important that God commanded the children of Israel in Deuteronomy, saying chapter 6, These words which I am commanding you shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your sons. You shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. You shall bind my words as a sign on your hand and they shall be frontals on your forehead. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. So why is the word of God so important? Why why is it important to read the Bible every day? Because, key number two, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Did you know that if you read three chapters a day of the Gospels, you'll get through all four Gospels every month? Or did you know that there's 30 chapters in the book of Proverbs and that you can read one chapter a day of the book of Proverbs and complete the whole book in a month? Or have you ever read the one-year Bible? You can read through the whole Bible in one year in just about 20 minutes a day. All you got to do is go to Amazon, type in one-year Bible. You could have it delivered to your house by tomorrow. 
Or you could use one of my methods, and that is to read through the daily readings as laid out by the liturgical calendar. There's there's lots of ways to increase your Bible reading daily. I used to take short books of the New Testament, like First Peter, and sit down and read one chapter over and over and over again 50 times. The, the method of Bible intake is up to you, but if you want to grow your faith, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. All right, that's the quick key for the day. God willing, we'll be back with you again tomorrow.